I wonder if you could explain a little bit, you know, how how exactly do you support brands in, in implementing what you just described as, you know, privacy by design? And, you know, how does how does that actually work in, in practice? Yeah, uh, so I can talk a little bit about it from the, the Drata perspective. I mean, as you can imagine, there are a lot of different ways um, to implement privacy by design and following the core principles, sure. um, you know, following some of these very specific compliance frameworks like ISO actually has controls and you will uh, ultimately need to provide evidence of these controls uh, that you're adhering to privacy by design principles for certain compliance frameworks. That's one way. But the other way that Drata really focuses on is by evangelizing, helping companies to evangelize how they adhere to some of the most important auditable evidence that they are uh, operating in a way that is compliant with some of the most popular frameworks and, and regulations that exist in the world. We call this presenting a trust center. And so a lot of our customers, they will make sure that they maintain some of these core principles of these different frameworks. And I, I can give you some tangible examples here in a moment. And then they want to they wanna promote that. And so with Drata, you can put on your website that you have a trust center and you can check. Anyone can navigate to a website. You or I can navigate to a website that has the trust center badge or the trust center URL. And you can actually see in real time how compliant are these companies within some of these privacy frameworks or customer data frameworks or um, any of these compliance frameworks that really matter in the regulatory uh, environment. And they can see in real time that you know these, these companies are very trustworthy. So one of the core examples that we have is SOC2. SOC 2 is a very popular compliance framework that most SaaS companies need to adhere to. And when you are SOC 2 compliant, you are collecting evidence about your employees, that they are you know, taking the necessary trainings and adhering to certain security practices. And you need to collect evidence from uh, a lot of your different uh, security postures and security policies. And you present that to an auditor and an auditor checks a bunch of boxes um, at given intervals and says, yeah, you pass the audit and you have your SOC 2 attestation. And when you have that SOC 2 attestation, it's in your best interest to promote it. And you promote it via a Drata Trust Center. And in that way, that's just one example. We have um, over 20 compliance frameworks. In that way, we really seek to become the currency of trust between our customers and their customers. So their customers can see, all right, privacy has been engineered to my experience of this software product, and I can really trust these brands. So, you know, it's funny. In, in some ways, it's a very technical, you know, requirement that these companies need to adhere to. But in other ways, it's a branding exercise, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I am now branding myself as trustworthy. I am now branding myself as a, a company that is on the side of my customers. Um, and I, I feel like there's a lot of emotional value in that, particularly in a world where we don't know what's happening with our data and we don't know whether we're having private interactions online or not.